it's September 20 here. We're doing our working on corn sedge. We're on the second day now. We got started last night and just got 350 some ton off, just opening up two different fields. Right now we're on the home farm at a 55 acre field. And we got an 80 acre piece all opened up. We'll chop four fields this year for corn silage for the pile. Our goal is to do 5,000 tons. We got Grandpa running in the chopper for the first day since I think first cutting hay he ran a little bit. We got my dad and I are hauling wagons and I got one brother on the pile packing. We're just off the dairy farm here where all the lights are. So we don't need too many people at all. chop until he gets his wagon full. He'll back up and hook it. I'll hook mine right next to him and then we'll cross pass and take each other's full wagons. He's got a switch in the cap for the hydraulics on the rear end that run your dump box and then he can pull his quick hitch from the cab and he'll unhook his wagon. I'm not as fortunate. I got a twine string. But it sure beats getting out of the cab all the time to do hitch pins. We just flip flop places. I'll take his full wagon. Just like that, he's ready to go again. Since we switch with the chopper every time for the wagons, I can't keep them hooked up. Oh, I got hydraulic fluid on my lens. We got our haylage pile here on the right, and then corn silage on the left. Hopefully we should be done with this by the end of next week. This here is probably 800 tons already. Engage my hydraulics and just slowly creep forward. That'll make too big of a pile for him to push. Working here, I get feeder pigs now. We got first load down. Going to get the second one. We get this done, we'll finish feeding cows for my uncle. He had to take off. He had all the all the cows are fed. I just got a couple batches for heifers, so that can wait until we get this done. And then maybe who knows? Maybe we might start chopping today yet. All loading up and heading home. You gonna pet some pigs? Yep. Did you lose count? Yep. Maybe. <laughs> Ready to unload some more pigs? Yeah. <laughs> um, let them be, let them be, we'll get them later. 
His red marks on his butt. Yep. Come on. Never got the whole one. What? Because I never got the whole one. Let me grab a red one too. Let's go. This one's my favorite. <laughs> Why well, is he your favorite? Look at the red. Go eat. <laughs> so all these pigs came out of a confinement barn on concrete slats. So all the bedding is new to them. So they'll run around and play around in it. <laughs> Built around the feeders. That way they can transition from a aluminum uh, confinement barn style feeder to our cell feeders. Because this is what they'll be on for the next four months. So with the first two days, they'll always be sleeping on the concrete. So we gotta stir them up, chase them onto the bedding, because that's where they'll be sleeping. We found the water fountains ready, so that's good. It takes about two and a half weeks to figure out how the feeders work. People say they can drive better than auto steer, usually the old timers. This is one of those cases where it's actually true. Believe it or not, this was done with auto steer, and my row to the left was done by hand. Can't really tell now because I'm not looking down those rows. For some reason, we had just terrible problems with GPS on this field, and they're all just terribly crooked. It was so bad that I could drive it by hand better, so I did about every Three out of every five passes I did by hand, and then the GPS would work, and then it'd get terrible again, so I'd do it again by hand. Might be a little time to upgrade from the old Easy Steer 500. But back in the captain's seat, finally. Grandpa had enough for a day, so I take over for him in the evenings. So I think we're sitting 11, 1200 tons done so far on the pile. Got the call to shut down, so this will be the last wagon of the night.
So until next time, enjoy. God bless.